Non, j'avais pas vu ça, c'est trop mignon. Hey, cutie pie. How are you? Daddy? Daddy, is that you? Where are you? I can't see you. You came back in the end. It's like the inescapability of a celestial body's revolution. We can't help but follow certain stars' brightness. Even if those stars died millions of years ago. Light is alive, and it reaches us. And those stars are alive and dead at the same time. What are you trying to say? I, I don't understand. I, I can't see you, Daddy. Listen, sweet bee. My sweetheart. Listen to my voice. It's important. I can't see you. Where are you? Where are you? You know how much I love you. I know, Daddy. I've always known it. I love you too. Ah, c'est quand même un peu dofi là. I love you. Rachel. Rachel. Oh, oh le cauchemar. Il a dit I love you. Peut-être c'était sa fille. C'était peut-être sa fille cachée. Il peut pas avoir euh, abusé d'une jeune fille de 16 ans. C'est pas possible. Bon, on va remettre euh, la luminosité normale parce que là on a un peu abusé. On était sur 40. Voilà. Ouais. Morning. Am I interrupting? I was eating. Steak and potatoes, cheesecake, strawberry shake, and a frothy cappuccino, Italian style. <laughs> so the usual frozen beans. Sharp as a tack, as always, Agent. Uh, I did find something. Um, some tapes that were found in the main office. In truth, I shouldn't even have taken them. Oh, so what'd you find, Billy the Kid? Well, I don't think it's anything useful. Uh, wait, wait, where did I put them? What? The pliers, so I can pry the words out of your mouth. Oh, sure. Okay, okay, it's, um, it's VHS of the behind-the-scenes of a TV broadcast, but it's, it's all bullshit just to attract an audience. Uh, trust me Jesus, that... you can be really long-winded. Yeah, you're right, sorry. They're tapes about haunted hotels, weird and mysterious stories, stuff kids like. Uh, with these guys who call themselves ghost hunters. Ghost hunters? Did they hear about the old farting ghost? I'm not sure, but uh, they went on a tour of old buildings in the county, and they stopped by the timber line, too. Whatever, let me hear it. Okay, uh, but I'm warning you, it's kind of, well, listen for yourself. 
Okay, okay, the lights look good. How about the headphones? I don't know, there's like a buzzing noise. Listen. Yeah, true. Well, the German ones are better. <clears throat> we are about to enter a nightmare hotel. A place full of deceit and secrecy where terrible lies were played out. I don't like that. I'll do it again later. Oh, the room with the fireplace isn't bad. Okay. Spare me the kitchen. I wouldn't know what the hell to say. Fireplace okay? Kitchen? No. Stan, where'd you leave all the gear? Room one. I stuck a piece of tape on the door. I didn't get that. What room? I got a buzz in the headset. Damn microphones. One, one, seven. Danny, what's that fucking Sounds camera? Set. It's, it's giving off a glare and burns out the frame. I told you no tricks. What tricks? I didn't use anything. <gasps> Stop fucking around, Danny. I told you I didn't rig anything. I saw it too. It's uh, a mirror, isn't it? Huh? It looked like the reflection on a mirror. What'd you smoke this morning? What the fuck are you two up to? Cut the crap. You're freaking me. Holy shit. There it is. There it is. Where? I saw it. It's just up there. It's like a light, like a door that opens. I swear. Get I... it. Stop touching me or you'll give me a heart attack. What are you talking about? I'm like over here. Fuck. I felt someone touch me. Are you kidding? Hmm. That's it? Yep. The tape's damaged. Too damp. Well, I'd say fucking typical. How ladylike. What happened in the end with the TV show? Never aired. Some say they ran off, ditching everything there. Yeah, but they mention a room on the tape. I'd like to take a look. It's uh, 117, I think. 117, yeah. Same floor as my apartment. Super. Bah c'est génial, on va y aller alors. Deux, c'est le Polaroid. Et un, c'est la lampe torche. Ah ouais, ma porte elle est ouverte, c'est cool. Ce serait bien d'éviter de laisser les portes ouvertes, fantôme. Ah ouais d'accord, toutes les portes sont ouvertes, super, j'adore ça. 108. Tout va bien, c'est juste un fantôme. 104, 103, 102. J'ai l'impression d'aller dans le bon sens. 117, c'est là-bas. Tout va bien. 109, 110. Ah, déjà il y a un truc. Hey, I found the room. But for someone barricaded it with an L bracket. Do what they do in movies. Bust through the door with your shoulder. Real ah. funny. I need a screwdriver. I think I saw one around somewhere, but uh, I don't remember where. Probably in the basement. Seems to me I've seen one in the garage. Or was it the generator room? I'll let you know. La tempête elle s'est vachement calmée là. C'est cool. On pourrait partir et revenir avec plein de gens. Je pas obligé d'être toute seule. Avec toutes les portes ouvertes, ça me casse les couilles. Hey, uh, found the screwdriver? No. I keep thinking about those guys, the, the ghost hunters. You sure it was an act? 
It sounded so natural. Awesome actors. I'll give them that. I can't stand the idea that my family problems might end up on cable or some tourist guide. Fortunately, it seems that won't happen. They hightailed it out of there. God only knows why. Don't tell me you believe in ghosts or some bullshit like that. Well, I'm not superstitious, but if someone believes that a black cat is bad luck, then you also have to believe that something else is good luck. Huh? What are you talking about? Prayer, for example. You're saying prayer brings good luck? I doubt Reverend Foster would agree. A screwdriver. I'm out of here. Pour info, jamais je fais ça dans la vraie vie. Hein. Qu'on se le dise. Jamais je me balade dans un lieu comme ça, toute seule. Voilà, déjà, il y a eu du bruit. Là. Ouais. Je t'ai entendu. Je ne veux pas communiquer avec toi, Rachel. Après, peut-être un fantôme, ça peut être sympa aussi, ça peut être ma copine. Elle n'est pas en colère après moi, moi j'y suis pour rien. S'il faut, je vais la trouver gentille. Non, après, si je veux courir vite, c'est bien que ce soit ouvert, toi. Voilà. Je vais rage quitte le jeu, je pense. J'ai envie de le faire, hein. je te jure que j'ai envie, mais j'ai trop peur. On n'appellerait pas notre copain d'abord Allô Ça me que non. Ça va pas lui plaire hein, que je rentre dans sa chambre. Elle va pas trop aimer. Je le sais. Moi, j'aimerais pas trop. Ah, c'est la chambre de l'émission de radio. Ouais, voilà, parle de lui. How much do you know about those TV shows? The ones about haunted houses? I know they're popular. A lot of tourism revolves around them. Did the whole Rachel story really bring them here? Everyone in town knew about her suicide. Had a bit of gossip. Oh, so sad to see the place you grew up in go downhill. I know. I'm so sorry. Believe me. Je peux pas fermer la porte. Déjà, tu vois, c'est pas normal. C'est dans cette pièce-là qu'il s'est passé un truc bizarre. Qu'est-ce qu'elle a cette photo Elle a rien de bizarre cette photo. Quit playing dumbass jokes. What the heck are you doing all day? Who, you mean the owner? 
is locked up in the attic. You can hear it pacing up and down. Well, let it rest. We've got the whole hotel to do whatever we want. <laughs> Shut up a sec. There's that noise again in the headphones. Sounds like someone is talking to themselves. I see you smoking the good stuff. I <laughs> <laughs> <Is that right>? <laughs> <laughs> Did you see his face? He's missing a couple of rooms. <laughs> Sounds like a woman's voice. A girl. What the? I'll bet living alone in a place like this all winter, he can't help but go nuts. <laughs> so depressing. Danny, did you get rid of the interference? Fuck, I pay you to do your job, not jerk around. Fuck off, Stan. What do you think I'm doing? It's a mess here. Nothing's working. There's voices. Listen, Danny, cut the crap. I'm going to go have a sip, and if you don't figure it out by the time I'm done... Ah! What the fuck are you doing? I the thing! Well, you're not taking it. No, I need... Ça me fait peur. J'ai trop peur. se ferme. On va faire un changement de streamer. Donc du coup, je fais une pause vite fait, le temps que Lia arrive.
Mais euh, on est déjà en train de... Ah, mais il y a ma tête Mais tu aurais pu me le dire, non Non, mais... Euh, frère... Euh... Tu t'appelles Nicole. Perso, c'est où t'appelles Nicole, ok Et euh, les deux, tes deux parents sont morts, t'as hérité d'un hôtel. Il y a peut-être un fantôme de une meuf. Et puis la meuf, elle s'appelle Rachel. On s'appelle toi aussi. Donc voilà. La meuf, elle s'appelle Rachel. Et mm-hmm. elle peut-être, elle hante la pièce. Là, je viens de regarder les trucs. Il y a aucune trace. Et la porte, elle s'est fermée toute seule. Non, là, elle est ouverte, maman. Ouais, mais J'ai de les faire avec l'autre main. Oui. Vas-y, ferme-toi. On peut pas pencher la tête comme ça En fait, tu connais et tu me fais faire un truc, là. Non, j'ai, t'as juste besoin que je fasse à ta place parce que t'as peur. Là, ça fait du bruit. Bon, je pense qu'elle se cache sous un lit, clairement. Non. Coucou Ça sert à quoi Ça fait... Il y a eu un... Mais vas-y, ta sensibilité, euh, pas trop trop sensibilité. Trois pour l'entendre. C'est elle, euh, la meuf qui hante la maison Ou ouais. oh, ça va, elle est pas si moche. Ça va, tranquille. Ça peut être ma pote. Et déjà, tu me... On n'a plus le micro. Il y a du jus de pomme dans le frigo.
<rire> Quelle connasse. T'as entendu ce qu'elle a dit Ma fille, elle a dit même sur mes lives Insta, j'ai plus de vues. Hey. For fuck's sake, Irving! Oh, uh, what did I do? He gave me a heart attack. Sorry, I'll warn you with a carrier pigeon next time. Damn. Uh, what? I I'm just curious to know what you found in that room. Well, you should be. You're never going to believe it. Tu veux boire une vodka avec maman Non. <rire> C'est bien. C'était une question piège. Regarde, je à Minecraft. Non, mais il faut que j'avance dans ce jeu. Je suis presque à la fin, mais j'ai trop peur. Et du coup, j'ai besoin de toi parce que j'ai pas peur quand t'es là. Je crois que je rêve de Noël. What the fuck Here I am. You still there? Where else should I be? Did you forget what day it is? I wouldn't miss Nicole's amazing adventures in the remote mountains for anything. Irving, don't tell me you're staying on just for me. Go. I promise not to get into any trouble for the rest of the night. I already told you. I'm sticking around till you get closure. Thanks. You always do that? Do what? Worry about every desperate stranger that knocks on your door. You're no stranger. But I... I don't get it. You've been a part of this place since you were born. You belong here. Well... I thought I left all this behind. Maybe I still have a ways to go. To be free. You're making progress. Stop. Two days ago, you would have skinned me alive if I'd called you a country bumpkin. <laughs> What tells you I'm not sharpening my knives this very minute? It's good we're just talking on the phone then. Listen, is this contraption really a phone it feels like a walkie-talkie slash defibrillator it's a real phone and trust me in a few years everybody will have one you think it's easier for me to believe in ghosts than to imagine people being hounded by a phone <clears throat> when they're out and about i'm i'm grateful for it i wouldn't have met you without it well i'm glad you're here Yep, I probably would never have said that either two days ago. Maybe once this whole thing is over, we could... Uh, we? Me? You? Us? We'll see. It's sure gonna feel weird not to talk to you at least once a day. Same. Oh, hold on a sec. Don't go anywhere, okay? Non, huh? elle parle avec un mec au oh, téléphone okay. avec elle. You have a good night too, Miss Flattery. Merry Christmas. Good night, hon. Here I am. To be honest, I never thought I'd spend Christmas like this. Sorry, I was going off on another flashback about the life of Nicole Wilson. Christmas Eve is the right time to reminisce? Yeah. Yeah. I get it too. Yeah. That's what there was, in the end. There was like a strange kind of warmth. Then it all ended. Christmas of 80. Me and my mom were at my aunt's house in Billings, and Leonard was here on his own. While I was pretending that I liked my aunt's sweater, he and she were... Nicole. They... J'avais pas fait le rapprochement, Axe. Hey. And a year later, she killed herself. And what she was carrying, too. Don't be like that. There you have it. These are my memories, and, uh... 
Hey, did you hear that? No. What are you talking about? Like a clinking. Uh, no. I, I don't hear anything. Sorry, I want to check. Uh, okay. J'entends des cliquetis là, tu vois. J'entends, ouais. Tu les entends Bah ouais, euh, ton disque. Tu restes avec moi. Oh mais j'ai pas du tout envie d'aller là-dedans. j'ai été dedans Mais qui irait dans ça, les combles, là Ça donne au bureau de maman. Yeah. I, I was thinking about earlier when I said I was happy to have met you. Lui me drague, uh -huh. c'est pas le moment. I, I just, uh, I, I was trying to figure out how to tell you. I, I feel real close to you, Nikki. I, God, I hear myself talk. I sound like an idiot. Irving, I, I don't know what you're trying to say, but right now I'm dealing with something else. I want to be there to help you. I'm just a useless voice on the mic. Believe me, right now, I would also like a little bit more presence. You know, uh, people get close in lots of ways. Please, shh a sec. I'm trying to listen to this noise. All right, I get that I might be overdoing it. Sorry, I'm a klutz, and, and sometimes it's... Irving, please, shut up. Thanks. Listen, we'll get back to this, but let me figure this out. Where is this sound coming from? I don't hear anything. Anyway, um, later. Il est mignon, il essaye de m'aider et moi je l'envoie chier tout le temps. Et là, j'essaye d'écouter le cliquetis, je sais pas d'où il vient.
la porte qui vient de par là. Il est de plus en plus fort. Léa, je vais hurler. Bah oui, c'est la mongolienne. Ouais, mais attends, maman, j'ai pas le pied couvert. C'est bon, c'est bon. C'est bon, vas-y, avance. Ouais, on l'entend bien là, ouais. Ouais, ouais. Ouais. Vas-y, remets. Found anything? I can't hear that sound anymore. It's easy to freak out when you're on your own up there. Maybe it's not me. It's this hotel. I... I didn't hear you. You know, for a second it was nice to imagine that the past could come back like that. We always had a party on December 23rd. Maybe you heard about it? It's pretty well known in the county. <laughs> Sounds amazing. You should have seen the ballroom back then. I can almost picture it. The last time Rachel's family was there, Reverend Foster wasn't as sullen as usual. And your parents? My mother had eyes only for Leonard. And he... I saw he wouldn't stop staring at that girl. Rachel. She... talked and moved with the grace and confidence of an adult. She wore a dress with a bow on the back. She was so beautiful. Perfect. Fuck. It was the beginning of the end and we were breaking out the champagne. Nikki, I... Sorry, I'm <laughs> becoming a freaking nostalgic up here. Well, I, I can't hear that sound anymore. It's gone. I'm gonna look around again and then I'm going to bed. Be careful. Je sais qu'on entend un bruit. Là, on entend le bruit de la lampe. <rire> Je vais te le mettre au placement. Elle accouche pas sur la veste à coup. La truicide. Intéressant. 
je vais avec le casque. Je vais pas rester 20 ans, j'ai d'autres chats à fouetter. Kamel Rachi, Kamel Aditya, tu vois, source SDK by. Non, mais tu sursautes alors que t'as même pas le bruit. Si. 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 Tiens, on va te laver. Si la meuf, si elle finit par un jeu et qu'elle va pas à un endroit, tu trouves pas qu'il y a un petit un peu trop. Si tu mettais le microphone des fois. Je suis là pour. J'ai vu qu'il y avait une fenêtre qui avait eu les trucs à côté là. Les bouts de bois, ils avaient tombé. Non. Quoi le arbre Oh. Fixe au plan. Bah t'as dû dormir là-dedans. Ça arrive. T'avais un sac de couche. ça une Je vois la marelle. Il y a des bébés chats alors qu'ils sont là un jour sur deux. Pas. Il y a des bébés chats un jour sur deux. Mais je sais pas où ils sont en fait. C'est ça le problème. Pourquoi ils sont derrière le canapé C'est parce que je lui ai fait peur l'autre jour. J'ai levé le matelas et j'ai grogné pour qu'elle qu arrête de grogner. Non mais attends, elle faisait que grogner alors que je dormais. Elle pas grogné. Hein. Avec ses bébés qui faisaient piou 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 piou. Ils sont pris pour des oiseaux. Ouais. J'ai entendu une fille. J'ai entendu un. Non. Non. Mais re, vas-y. Tu vas jamais avancer si tu fais que la part suivre. Hein. Le but c'est de. Ouais. les escaliers. J'ai entendu un bruit quand elle était là. Vas-y, va dans les escaliers. Non, pas eux, les autres. Là, j'ai entendu un... Genre quand 
comme s'il y avait une marche qui est craquée. Là, il y a le vent, il est froid. Non mais, je sens qu'il y a du vent quoi. Enfin j'entends. Ah ouais, là tu t'es réveillé dans l'église Nos stoves, quoi. Ah, là j'ai encore entendu euh... Euh, là j'entends euh, des bruits euh... ou genre euh... comme l'exorciste quoi Ah oh ouais, frère aussi. Ils sont mongols, les gens. Gardien Bah oui. Bah oui. Tout est logique. Là aussi, le froid, il... Je sais pas, des fois quand je baille, je rigole. <rire> je me couvre le bras alors que j'ai pas de bras. Reviens En bas des escaliers Non, pas là. En bas des escaliers d'en haut. Reviens en bas. Ouais, quand tu passes sur cette marche, j'ai l'impression que ça fait... Ça, c'est censé être ta maison Autant au bordel que la nôtre. Là, c'est ma chambre. Hop, là, c'est ma chambre. Euh, le mieux rangé que la vôtre. Reva. Tu dors maintenant dans ma chambre. Irving Merry Christmas, Nikki. Ho, ho, ho. <rire> It's a little late for holiday greetings, but I expected that. What? Well, I, I thought you were calling to... Hey, is everything okay? Yes. I mean, I, I don't think so. No. What happened? I think... I sleepwalked. Like in the old Laurel and Hardy movies? I'm serious. I, I woke up in church, standing in front of the lectern. Wow. Does that happen a lot? No! Uh, one doesn't just become a sleepwalker from one day to the next. It used to happen when I lived here. One time in February, I ended up outside. But no parent leaves the doors unlocked if their kid sleepwalks. I never told anyone. You know, sleepwalking episodes are common in children. That's not the point. I forgot all about it. Then I come back here and it happens again. If I ended up in that church, maybe there's a reason. 
Sometimes following your instinct is the best thing. I don't want to go back there now, but I'll think about it. Oh, uh, Irving? Yeah? I like that you call me Nikki. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, mais toi ça va, tu dragues dans le jeu carrément. C'est toi qui es pas prêt, frère. Qu'est-ce que tu me poses la question? Tout à l'heure, elle a fait. Elle a fait quoi, Tchoumé Ces bébés, ils vont sortir comme as. Jamais elle a le poil. Soyez clair. Mais, mais si c'est là. Mais si là, tu venais des combles quand t'étais là. Reva là-bas. Si. Uh, hi. I, I, I was thinking, there really could be a repressed reason as to why you ended up there. So you've come to the conclusion that I'm not crazy? Never thought that. Well, at least not in this case. Oh, fuck off. Hey, language, Sister Nicole. All right, all right. So, if I think about the church, I think about my mother. She often helped Reverend Foster. She decorated for holidays, did fundraising, and put up booths to involve the whole community in parish activities. You know, that kind of stuff. I know what you mean. I think she found gratification in doing that, something she didn't get elsewhere, including the hotel. When we moved to Portland, she quit. Fundraising? God. I gather you didn't exactly have a high opinion of your mother when you were a kid. Well, she was really busy with the hotel. I was always running after Leonard. He was much more fun than she was, no doubt about it. He was a philosopher capable of calculating the motion of celestial bodies while taking apart and refitting a motorcycle in less than half an hour. What about her? In the same half hour, she could have audited a business balance sheet. There you go. Ah, a businesswoman. Hmm, no. What I understood later, living in such proximity to her, is that Mom loved feeling needed. A religious community like ours makes you feel needed, without a doubt. I suppose. Nikki? When there was a party, my mother always got out the usual streamers and decorations and stuff. She raced in and out of the church, but I never discovered where she kept all those things. Never asked? Oh, a million times. She didn't want to answer. She said they were in a safe place. A real mystery. <laughs> what kind of decorations could they have possibly been? Nothing explosive. It's just that I had the bad habit of sneaking all over the place and forgetting what time it was. There was that huge lady, the uh, assistant cook, Mrs. Bryce. She used to get so mad. <laughs> <laughs> A judicious girl. They promised to reveal the secret storeroom when I got older, but I must have forgotten. Mystery of the secret storeroom. Ooh, sounds good. The riddle! What are you talking about? Leonard was never good at keeping secrets, but he taught me a riddle to get there. Can you remember it? <laughs> Incredible. Yes. Oh, something like, down the stairs, watch your step, don't fall apart or it's your end, 
round a corner, turn around, there's your way in front of you. All that's closed can be open to if you see beyond its <laughs> looks. But how can I remember it? How it's, I, I. Wow, total mystery. Wanna play? Uh, I, yes, I need to think about it. I have no idea what it means. I'll, I'll call you if anything comes to mind. sans toi. C'est quoi cette maison avec que des doubles murs Comment je suis prêt si on avait ça chez nous, des doubles murs What the fuck Il enfermait la petite fille ici, c'est pire que ce que j'imaginais. Mais c'est ignoble. Shit. So, found the mystery decorations? No, no, no decorations. Is everything okay? I found something. What? I. It's like someone built some kind of bedroom. Irving, you there? Uh, of course, yeah. Uh, what bedroom? T tell me what you see. Okay. I... Uh, there's some windows. Drawn on the walls. Books. Sheet music. A pink bed. It's... Like a kid's room. No way. This place doesn't make sense. No one would live down here. Nicole. Nikki. I think you should get out of there now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's got to be an explanation. Okay, that's it. Uh, now I'm calling the head office in Billings. I'm telling them it's a code red emergency, so they'll have to... Jesus Christ, Irving. What? This is all Rachel's stuff. Understand? It's her room. A, a, a replica. Uh, you don't know that. You, you can't know what her room looked like. Everything here reminds me of her. Let me look around. I'm sure I'll find an explanation. Put my other hands on the red phone. Keep it there, but don't make the call. I need to figure out what's going on here. C'est creepy pire que creepy, hein? Did you get out of there? You know by any chance if Rachel wore a retainer? Uh, maybe? Uh, there was an article... This thing they hadn't found it at the site of the suicide. I remember. 
She always made a horrible noise when she clipped it onto her palate with her tongue. What does Rachel's retainer have to do with anything? I found a box. It could be hers. Why should someone keep a ten-year-old retainer? Maybe they're not just keeping it. Maybe they're using it. The box is empty. No way. I, I can't... Let me go on. J'avais un jouet comme ça quand j'étais petite. Léa, j'ai peur. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. We have to call someone. You have to get out of there right now. No, I found a key. It's from my old music box, the one in Leonard's room. I'm having a hard time following. If everything in here is Rachel's, then why is my music box's key here? I don't know and I don't want to know. Tell you what I think, someone could have been in your room. It doesn't matter. How can you be so calm? If someone was in there, he's not here now. I need to grab the chance to figure out what the hell is going on, or went on, here. Pourquoi il aurait caché une petite fille euh, à part si c'est pour faire des trucs très très glauques avec Yes. Nicole, listen. I already know what you're gonna say, but please trust me. Get out of there. Please, you're not helping. You do realize you found the replica of a dead girl's bedroom. This is sick. This is a... a the a... more things get freaky, bizarre, and painful, the more I need to figure out why. Why all of this? We'll figure it out with the sheriff. Once you're out of there, into a safe hotel room in town. Please, just... Listen, a bunch of strange things happened since I got here. Think about it. Phone calls on a deadline. Old lipsticks that don't go bad. Leonard's notes where he says he saw a girl that's supposedly been dead for ten years. And now this! All good reasons to get out of there. Mm. We both Je suis d'accord avec lui, hein. Is top priority, right? I've looked over every inch of this place, and there's no one. If it's true, ça, je suis pas sûr qu'il y ait personne, hein. What? What are you trying to tell me? Your father. He spent years in there, in total solitude, with the weight of his family and Rachel in his conscience. C'est quoi les stylos aquarelles C'est quoi Attends, le tiroir derrière moi. You're joking, right? You think he did this Think about it. That room could be an act of love. Distorted, even morbid, but in his eyes. How dare you My My father might have had a lot of weaknesses. But surely, what you're saying... Leave out that he cheated on my mom. Leave out that he fell in love with a 16-year-old. But f fucking hell, don't you dare even think that. I... He would never have built a fucking underground shrine for a dead person. <sighs> Your father had changed in the end. You didn't spend time with him, but I met him. And I'm telling you. No! <laughs> I don't give a shit about what you have to say. I just want you to know that if you don't want to help discover the truth, don't call me. No, sois pas, sois pas énervé comme ça. Il y est pour rien, hein, Irvin. Si ton père c'était un gros taré. J'aime bien que tu sois là, ma fille. Coucou, Picta. Coucou, Monsieur Dewitt. Je suis en stress total. Oh, asshole. How dare you? You don't know shit. You don't know fuck. Finally. A bit of peace and quiet. It'll help me clear my head without those incessant phone calls. I'm not a fucking switchboard, for fuck's sake. Okay, let me piece things together. I just found out there's a room dedicated to Rachel Foster in my father's hotel. Maybe with items from her real room. Holy Jesus, that's freaky. Some people think she didn't commit suicide. And some even think she's still alive. 
I have to think it through. What concrete clues did I find? First thing, the phone call. They said Rachel isn't dead. Then the lipstick from 10 years ago turns up still good. Wait, and then so do it. my father's various notes where he says he still sees her. If that were true, it might explain the sighting by her friend here in the Timberline. And now I find her retainer box, but no retainer. That room might not be a reconstruction. If Rachel didn't kill herself, Rachel could have lived here. But if she's still alive, why doesn't she tell her parents? Unless they're all in cahoots. No suicide, no Timberline money. No, 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 I'm just being question, là. And then there'd be no reason for her to live in a fucking aussi, underground replica of her room. Après elle. My key in the middle of Rachel's stuff, is it a message? Where do I fit in? Two questions. Are you trying to tell me something, Dad? My music box with the hockey player. I don't think I have the guts to hear that tune again. But I must. Peut-être Rachel, c'était sa fille aussi. Peut-être que mon père, il l'a jamais dit. Peut-être c'est sa fille cachée. Non, mais non, parce qu'elle a un père. Peut-être que je suis ce fantôme. Il essaye de communiquer avec moi. En fait, lui, là, que j'entends dans la radio. Ouais, ouais. Si je suis ce fantôme. J'entre l'hôtel, nanani, nanana. Ouais, j'y ai pensé aussi, mais... Mais pourquoi j'ai une chambre ici et que j'ai une autre chambre en bas Bizarre. Et qui c'est le mec Essaye de communiquer avec moi. J'ai des frissons. Je te jure que dans la vraie vie, j'ai des frissons sous ma veste. Sous la veste de ton père. La clé que j'ai trouvée appartient à la boîte à musique dans la chambre de Léonard. Je vais l'ouvrir, l'ouvrir, l'ouvrir. Ouais, je vais l'ouvrir, l'ouvrir, l'ouvrir. Parce que j'essaye de savoir quelque chose, j'essaye de comprendre ce qui m'est arrivé. Je sais pas. The 27th of December, 1983. The hockey finals at Missoula. Us against Cold Springs High. We won by sudden death after a three-hour game, and I got the medal for the most number of face-offs won. According to the papers, that was the night Rachel killed herself. Coming home, Mom barely had the time to pull into the garage, that I was already racing up to you, waving the medal in your face, Daddy. J'ai eu ma médaille. Mais j'étais mort. You had other on your mind, right? Mon père, du coup, il a mis la médaille dans And ma boîte. Fighting, ils se sont disputés. Elle redescend les escaliers avec les valises. Elle essaye her. de quitter mon père parce que je suis morte à cause mom's de lui, peut-être. Elle a Mom never wanted to talk about it. Are you trying to, Daddy? Peut-être que lui justement, il essaye, euh, il m'aide. Je suis un fantôme, et lui, il essaye de m'aider à sortir parce que je suis un fantôme malheureux parce que je sais pas ce qui s'est passé, peut-être. Et lui. Euh, il essaye de communiquer avec moi pour m'aider à trouver ce qui m'est arrivé pour que je pour que je, je meure euh, tranquillement peut-être ou alors mon père est un fucking monstre mais je préfère l'idée de que mon père n'est pas un fucking monstre Irving finally ah. 
I know, I told you to go to hell. I was dying on this chair. Hmm. You're right. That room freaked me out. So, I looked around the entire hotel, and if there's still a chance of getting to the bottom of this story, then it's gotta be behind the locked door on the last floor, in the attic. That wing has been condemned for years. I know, I'll be careful. Okay. There are too many things that I took for granted. It's as if someone was putting pieces of my past in front of me to show them to me under another light. Who are you talking about, Nikki? Maybe it's my father. In my music box, I found the medal I won the night Rachel died. Dad could have put it there, and if he did, there must be a reason. It... it all sounds insane. The night Rachel died. Maybe I have to start from there. I played in that really long hockey game. But what was going on in the meantime? You remember that night, Irving? I think I was at church with my family. Church? That night we had a mass for the poor here. We held one every year. As usual, Mom volunteered to take me to the game, but she was so busy with the soup kitchen that I was afraid she was going to be late. I remember while she ran around, she said she ordered me to close the mezzanine. You mean the intermediate floor above the reception? What's in there? A storeroom. Have you been up there? No, I'd forgotten all about it. I'd better take a look before moving on. No, je pense que... Non, je pense que lui, il m'aide à résoudre. Oh, j'entends les bruits, Léa Et puis c'est de là qu'il venait les bruits de sous l'escalier. Oh bah c'est formidable. Regarde ce que je vois. Ça c'est pas Glock ça C'est Glock. Ouais il y a des mannequins. Super, un mannequin avec le truc de hockey et un bébé. C'est moi qui ai tué Rachel Et mon père, il a caché ça Peut-être c'est Nicole qui a tué Rachel Irving Nicole Hello? Can you hear me I'm on the mezzanine. And Nicole It's a nightmare. There are mannequins everywhere. They're set up... Like in a scene, the, the, there's one with a hockey stick. Wait, what the fuck? That's my stick! If you're listening to me, whoever set up this representation, I, I think they want to tell me that Rachel was killed? But why my hockey stick? C'est moi qui ai tué Rachel, well, en fait. Hello? Oh no, ils essayent d'enquêter pour... Irving, I swear I'm not kidding. This is a huge deal. If you can hear me, it's time to make that phone call. C'est moi qui ai tué Rachel, mais pourquoi j'ai fait ça? J'étais jalouse. Léa, reste avec moi, s'il te plaît. Je 
Je peux pas prendre une arme plutôt qu'un micro. Where are you, Nicole? It's about time. Did you hear my messages? How many doors have you opened, Nicole? How many are still missing? What? Voilà. C'est mon psy en fait. What doors are you talking about? Keep going. Hello. Hello, Irving. C'est mon psy. Et il essaye de me faire ouvrir les portes de mon passé parce que j'ai tué cette petite. J'ai enfoui tout ça dans mon passé. Et voilà, elle est plus verrouillée la porte. Diplôme de Nicole. Lumière étrange. Montana Weather. Oh, regarde, ça ressemblerait pas à ma voiture, ça. this path. I had to do it. What did you do, Irving? These walls ooze with memories. The memories get into the walls. Under the floorboards, they creep into the crawl spaces. You're not with FEMA. You, Jenkins, you, you never talked to him. Your boss, the phone call, all those weird events. You were behind all of them. Someone had to bring the last piece of the memory puzzle here. The most important one. You. Me? I... I... Your father wanted to keep you out of it. I convinced him that only you could resolve the equation, as he called it. I... don't understand. How could you? Over the last few days, you got a little taste of what it means to dig around in the past. Hunting for memories that scratch away behind every wall in the night. I... We did it for years. Day after day. 
Mais qui es-tu T'es le frère de Rachel Je coupe. Who are you, really? I want to tell you a story. There was an invisible boy. Like everyone, he just wanted to run on the grass, ride a bike, swim in the lake. Oh, c'est le fils de Rachel. His father. Elle était enceinte de neuf. Oh, father had a. Non, elle était enceinte de neuf semaines quand elle est morte. His dark world made of silence and prayer there shone only one star. His Sa sœur, donc c'est le frère de Rachel. Wonderful sister. A heavenly creature that spent hours telling him fairy tales in secret. She who told him what a free and strong man he would become one day. Ou alors c'est mon frère à moi. Rachel. She was like that. Free and strong. Ah, c'est son frère à elle. Attardé. Ah merde. But I could hear her cry at night. I wanted to protect her. Tu me dis ça à la fin, da. C'est valo. Ah, tant pis, écoute. One day, that beautiful, luminous creature met someone. The human being that saw her for real. My dad. Yes. And I would be invisible witness of what happened. A love, simply a love. Nothing more, nothing less. But that love was too much, and it would be punished. Who paid for this love, Nicole? Rachel. Rachel was your sister. Now I remember you. You were too caught up with your hatred for Rachel to notice the innocent little kid that sometimes tagged along. I didn't hate your sister. I was just jealous. It doesn't matter. Those days are over. How could I have forgotten you? I was raised to be forgotten. What do you want from me? The day my sister paid with her life for her love, we all died. We make up the history of the Timber Life. It was a tragedy. But you... We all got frozen there. In that very moment. In that... confined horizon of events. As you'll understand. As you've already begun to understand. I want to know what you want from me. You have to keep going. To get to where I wasn't able to go. You will be the new witness. You owe it to us. And you owe it to her. Reste avec moi, ma lélé. Les clés. have passed since I last used this old tape recorder. I think you were in elementary school. 
I imagine a testament should start in a poised manner. My dear Nicole, my favorite daughter, etc., etc. Poised, weighty, serious, irrevocable. I prefer asking you how you are. How are you, Nikki? You're probably tired. I can imagine. At this point of your journey, the marks and voices of this old hotel will have already whispered all their secrets. You've always been good at solving puzzles. In this, you surely resemble more your mother than me. Irving has always been convinced that you, only you, could surmount the fear and suffering that exuded from these hallways. We tried. We waited. We were terrified. We studied, oui, we listened. Bon. We listened to her. But all the love in the world wasn't enough to decipher those muted vowels, those wide open eyes, those tears of light. In your time and space, in the here and now, I will no longer be with you. But it doesn't matter, trust me, it doesn't. I have a new theory, Nikki. Love is and remains. It is in the wood you stand on, in the walls that keep up this hotel. Who are you talking about? In the air about? we breathe. And sometimes it hates. It hates those who didn't allow it, those who cast it aside with indifference, and those who can't recognize it. Stars still emanate their light, even after collapsing, right? There is a lot of light here. There is light. Death. I want to free myself of all this darkness. I can no longer see the stars. I'm tired of surviving in this limbo. So, how are you, Nikki? I'm good. I will be. Figure out what Rachel was saying, Nikki. She's here. Meurtrière. Oui, ben j'ai compris. C'est moi la meurtrière, oui. Claire. Comment ça, je l'ai tué Je l'ai tué involontairement, en fait. Je l'ai tué en faisant quelque chose que je savais pas. de Claire. Dans la voiture de ma mère Je l'ai tué avec la voiture de ma mère Mon père et ma mère ils se sont disputés, on est parti en voiture. Et quand on est parti en voiture, on a renversé la petite Qu'est-ce qu'on a fait C'est moi la meurtrière ou c'est ma mère C'est ma mère et moi, c'était un accident. Oui, t'es en colère, j'ai compris, j'ai compris. Je vais comprendre bientôt. Hello. Leonard was a very special man. His soul was big enough to love both you and Rachel. I knew my father's soul better than anyone. You were just a jealous kid. Don't you dare try to make me feel guilty. You don't. I just want you to get to the truth. So why didn't you tell me about the truth? Tell who? The Nicole who thought eating beans was the worst tragedy and couldn't wait to finish this business and run away, forgetting everything all over again? You don't know anything about what my mother and I went through. 
But you're different to when you got here. Now you can discover the truth. A truth that otherwise would have destroyed you. I didn't lie to you. I protected you. Listen. I'm sorry about Rachel. I hated her, and I hated my father, but I never wanted it to end like that. I understand your pain. Maybe better than anyone. Betrayal, shame, death. My family was destroyed, just like yours. How much longer does this pain have to last? It'll be over soon. What else is there to know? You want the truth. Well, I can't give it to you. I've already given you everything I could. Now you have to tie the pieces together. What does that mean? Your father always said we are the sum of the people we take with us. And you abandoned these people. Here, in this place. Enough riddles, Irving. I'm tired. Me, too. You're the only one who can give a finale to this story. It's time you open the last door. Il n'y a rien dans le coffre. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a dans cette couverture Il faut la laver. Pourquoi je voudrais la laver C'est pas ici. I, I saw everything. I was there. there. All the pieces were in front of my eyes. A kid's eyes. It was the same night as the hockey game in Missoula. Reverend Foster was so busy with the preparations of the meals for the giving to the poor at the Timberline Church. Ma mère, elle a tué la fille. Bah, and my normal, mother, hein. Claire said that we would get back from the game in time for the distribution. She convinced my father to help the Reverend, and he'd come with his whole family. Franchement you normal, hein? and Rachel. Yeah. I remember it like it was yesterday. I couldn't find my stick. I panicked and I went down to the garage. Claire was there, red in the face. Her look. Her look. It was just a fleeting feeling. That's why I erased it from my memory. I had to erase it, understand? What was in her look? It just wasn't her. It was like a, a frightful creature. A, a disturbed, dangerous animal. I've never seen her like that before or after. Not even on her deathbed. And then she put her hands on her hips, exhausted. She smiled. And there she was again, my mom. I thought it must have just been the impression of a moment. 
I had the finals against Cold Springs High awaiting me. I climbed in the car, throwing my bag into the back seat. My hockey stick was there. Claire said she cleaned it. Claire a dit qu'elle l'avait nettoyé. She cleaned it. Yeah. C'est ma mère qui l'a tué avec ma batte de hockey. I, I don't. Go on. We, we got there on time and I played. Best game of my life. And the last. Claire was on the bleachers encouraging me and cheering. And then I lost sight of her. For two whole periods, I think. And later when I asked, she said she'd moved because Marty O'Donagall's father was getting on her nerves. But it wasn't true. Just enough time to go back to the car. Don't say it. Irving, don't say it. Don't say a thing. I... I don't... A fool. <laughs> I traveled all the way with Rachel's body and the baby she carried inside of her in the trunk rolled in the blanket. God, oh my God. Bah oui, elle a tué Rachel. She killed Rachel. Elle aurait dû tuer Léonard aussi. Hein. Thank you, Nikki. You've had your revenge. I hope all this gives you the peace you were looking for. I wanted you to help me uncover the truth. You're saying you didn't know that Claire? I was only a kid. Plus, she never wanted me to get to the bottom of it. Jalousy, oui. Rachel is is here. You know, I. I think she's still protecting me. But I'm grown up now. Now, we can all be reunited at last. What? Wait, where are you going? No, no, don't you Listen, We can work things out. What happened is terrible, but all the main players in this story are dead. Get it? Dead. We are still alive. We're alive. Me. You. We, we didn't do anything. That's exactly what we did wrong, Nicole. We didn't do anything. It's beautiful here. Rachel told me about it so many times, but I never thought it was so beautiful. What? Irving, where are you? It's wide as far as the eye can see. Beyond the mountains. You... You left the hotel? But... It's too cold, you'll... You'll die out there. Irving, please. I've lived in the dark for years. You freed me. And now I can finally rest in the light. I can... Go back. To her. Don't, don't go. You, you can't. Don't leave me too. We have our drink. It's not a goodbye, my tough, pragmatic, stubborn Nikki. We'll meet again. Another time. Beyond this horizon of events. Everything is. Moving? I don't want to stay alone here. I, I, everything seems to be becoming dark. I'm scared. I'm. Ah, who's there? Rachel, is that you?
Yes? You told us Neil Jenkins, the attorney. Finally, I can get through. You don't know how many times I tried. I can't hear you. The connection's bad. How are you? I was really worried about the storm. I'm good. Great. I'm glad. You're sure you... Listen, I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. What? Damned interference. I didn't catch it. What do you say? I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. You've been really nice. Your job is done. Thanks. Oh, oh well, I see. Well, you're the owner, and you've got every right to decide. But maybe we should talk about it in person. I want to understand. This kind of decision... I'm back home, and I have to stay here forever. Super, je vais habiter avec Rachel, à faire de la coloc. Ah, je suis en train de me suicider. Ah, d'accord. You know, Mom, I was thinking about going to the lake. Remember when we went with Uncle John last year? Daddy and I started talking about the stars. You can't see them during the day. Mais pourquoi je me suicide? But they're always there. J'y suis pour rien, moi, si... So like it. And we can have dinner at Doc Smith's diner on the bank. Rachel and Irving could come with us. What do you think? It would be so nice. Mais n'importe quoi, n'importe quoi. On va pas tous être réunis. Hein. Quand on est mort, on est mort, juste. Hein. Maman, papa, ce serait tellement bien. Mon père, le, le pédophile, et ma mère, la meurtrière. C'est génial non, fais pas ça fais... Qu'est-ce que tu fais Descends. Sors de la voiture. Bah ben vas-y, meurs. Trop fier. Stop it, please. Anger shouldn't rule our life. You said that. Ben oui, t'as peur, arrête. Fais pas ça. Et je peux pas bouger. Je peux faire que ça, suivre l'action. Mais arrête alors, si tu veux pas mourir, pourquoi tu le fais Voilà, voilà, voilà. Ça y est, c'est fini. T'arrêtes tes conneries. N'importe quoi. I'll stay here with you, Daddy. Mom, we'll bring back the Timberline to its fortune together. We will be happier, Daddy. All together. Yes. Like a whole family. No more anger. Just love. Bon, c'était pas vraiment un suicide. Hein. C'était assez glauque. Hein. Et en fait, à aucun moment, il y avait des fantômes et il m'est rien arrivé, en fait, de particulier. Les bruits depuis le début, c'était le mec avec qui je parlais au téléphone. J'ai flippé tout le long euh, alors qu'il n'y a strictement rien. <rire> Mais euh, bravo, GG à eux. J'ai vraiment eu peur pendant tout le long. Voilà. Ben on va couper là, puis il est fini ce petit let's play qui n'était pas très détente ni très ASMR. Hein. Il était plutôt stressant.
la deuxième fin, celle où elle se suicide. Celle où je sais pas quoi. Là où Je vais aller voir s'il y a des succès. Ah oui, je vais aller voir les succès vite fait. Mais je l'ai rangé dans quoi Neuf sur onze. J'ai chasse aux fantômes, donc écouté les murmures de l'hôtel, je ne l'ai pas fait, et participé à une savoureuse conversation croustillante. Je ne l'ai pas fait, je ne sais pas comment on les débloque. Et il manque deux succès, c'est con, j'irai peut-être les chercher par contre. Mais c'est relou parce que comme il n'y a pas de sauvegarde étape par étape, euh, du coup, il faut que tu te retapes tout le jeu si tu veux les succès. Ça, c'est un peu chiant. Après, maintenant, je peux le rusher le jeu, j'aurais plus peur. Et ça, c'est un peu moins chiant. Bon, allez, je cut le live. Des bisous, à tout de suite, tout de suite sur TS. Ciao, ciao.